Hi everyone and welcome back to um, part B of learning how to use Asset Express. So in the last uh, part you should have learned how you can locate the different loops and you can also um, listen to how they sound. Now we're going to start putting them together and this is called track layering. Track layering. And each one of these loops can be known as a track and you'll see what I mean in a moment. Now, first of all, the main area where we're actually going to work is not actually this area. This is uh, sort of where you find the loops. Where you actually work with the loops is up in this area. So I'm going to just minimize this part of the screen so we can see a bit more of it. Okay, there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with uh, some drums or something like that. Okay, there we go. So that's a drum one. So now I'm going to click and drag it up here and you notice that it's got a little plus sign next to the mouse there and I'll let it go. And as soon as I've done there what it's done is it's now dropped the loop into this track so this is known as track one and you'll see here it says number one there. And now at the moment if I click play here nothing's going to sound because there is actually nothing sort of written in so to speak. What we do now is now that we've got this loop in track number one we can now start pasting in some of this song some of that loop so I go to the paint tool just here and then I just click and you notice that there's these little boxes here I'm going to click and then drag along now what you'll notice is that it's um it's got these little triangular triangular bits here and what this means is that the track or the loop is playing all the way through once and then once it gets this point it actually starts over again and goes to here and then plays over again and starts again and starts again and it loops hence the reason why these things are called loops now if I play this all that you'll hear is the same drum track playing again and again and again And here it goes again. And you notice that I can control how everything sounds here using these controls down here. Now that I've got some drums in, I now think I want to add uh, something else. So let's see what we can find. Okay, so we've got some guitar. Let's click and drag that up here. And again, notice how I'm on the paint tool. Now what I want to do is I want to let the drums play at the start. Then I'm going to kick in with some guitar. Now what you'll notice is with the guitar, it's actually started halfway through the loop. And you notice that the loop for the guitar actually goes longer than the loop does for the drums. That's okay. That's, um, that's the way it is. Now I won't just play how it all sounds together just yet, but what I will do is I will add something else. Alright, so we've got some trumpets or some horns. Let's put that in. Now what I want to do is I want to bring the horns in a little bit later. But what I want to do is I want the guitar to drop out for a moment. So I don't want it to play when the horns are playing. So I now go to here to the rubber and get rid of just that little part there. Then I'll go back to the paint tool and now let's listen to the whole thing as it sounds. Okay, so you should have got the idea from there. And so we're actually creating music now, and hopefully you're getting a bit excited about this because you can actually hear the layering. And remember how I said track layering? So we've got the drums, then we've got a bit of guitar, then we're throwing in some horns, and you can go through and add, I think it's up to eight different loops in this version of Acid Express. Okay, we're going to stop the video right now and let you have a little play with that. Um, and then we'll pick up the video in just a moment. So there should be a third video.